Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. What up, what up? Back at it with another video. Before I get started, I wanna introduce my roommate's dog, Milo. So before I get into today's video, I want you to subscribe to my channel, turn your notification bell on, and give this video a thumbs up. Please help me with my goal. I'm trying to get to 1,000 subscribers. So today we are doing a Q&A, quarantine Q&A. Quarantine radio. And you can submit questions to me by using my Curious Cat link. It's going to be in the description box below. First question that came in. Who have you been quarantining with? I've been quarantining with my roommate. I have two roommates, but one of them went back home when all of this started and one of them pretty much stayed. So it's been pretty cool. What was the last movie you watched in theaters? The last movie I watched in theaters was Parasite. Would you like to be famous? Yes and no. I wanna have an audience, yeah, but I don't wanna be famous. Like I don't want people to stop me in the street or for me to have like this super glamorous life i don't know i don't think so it's weird because i'm an actor and a writer so i suppose most people would think that i want to be famous but yeah i see what a lot of that comes with and i don't want those problems next question have you ever lived anywhere besides new york i'm not sure if this counts but i studied abroad when i was in college i lived in florence italy and it was amazing outside of that mm -mm. new york through and through born and raised if you could live anywhere where would that be Okay, so I really wanna live in London. I wanna live there for maybe anywhere from like a year to two years, maybe longer, who knows? I would not be opposed to living in Toronto. I visited a couple years ago and I had an amazing time there. I don't know what other places, but anywhere where there's black people and black people can thrive and survive. How old were you when you knew you were bi? I think I knew by the age of 10 for sure. Prior to that, I had crushes on guys and girls, but I didn't know that there was a word for it. Prior to 10, I was being called gay and all of these other words that are not so good. So at a relatively early age, I was already looking inside myself like, what's going on here? Who do I like? Who do I not like? How many girls have you fucked? Next question. Well. Well, <laughs> next question. <laughs> See ya. That's a weird ass question to ask somebody. If you could change one thing from the past, what would it be? Uh, that's a tough one. I think, what would I change from the past? I don't know. What would your ideal partner be like? Okay, so they would be funny. They would be really, really, really smart. So I like being around funny people who you could kind of like do or say anything just for a laugh, but you know that they have like a good heart and good intentions and like they're quick-witted, they get the little jokes. But at the same time, somebody that you could have like, you know, really challenging, in-depth conversations with. And somebody who's fly, somebody who got a little bit of style. And I guess somebody who is, you know, like a go-getter. So yeah, those are some qualities. Which one do you like more, boys or girls? This is another question that like kind of sucks, but I don't know, I guess it depends on the person really, but in the past, in the recent past, I've been way more open to dating men than I have women, but I think I'm going to start changing that a little bit. I don't know, I think I'm gonna try to be more open to dating girls, but we will see. If you could have superpowers, what would your superpower be? Okay, so I think it would have to be one of three, or maybe all three. So teleportation, phasing through objects, and flying. Wait, what? Or should it be something else? No, that's good. Wine or beer? I'm gonna have to go with beer. I could drink beer all day. <laughs> and there's so many different kinds of beer. And it's crazy because like, I was not always this person, but now I just, I love beer. Are you dating anyone? Are you talking to anyone through the quarantine? I am not dating because we are in quarantine. Quarantine, quarantine, quarantine. And you're not supposed to be outside. But yeah, I've been I've been talking to people. I've been, you know, talking, just talking. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good night. That's it, just talking. <laughs> How many countries have you been to? Oh man, um, I don't know. <laughs> okay, so I've been to Canada, I've been to Mexico, I've been to Italy, I've been to France, I've been to Amsterdam, is in what country? 
I've been to that country that Amsterdam is in. <laughs> I've been to... Did I say um, the UK? No, I don't think I said that. I've been to the UK. I've been to Ethiopia. I've been to Nigeria. I feel like there's at least one or two more that I'm forgetting. I can't remember. I think it's eight. I think it's more. Can't remember. Whatever. Anyway, this was kind of fun. So thank you for watching my video and make sure to go down below and leave me some questions in my curious cat so I can do another one of these. Quarantine Q&A, quarantine questionnaire. Make sure you stay safe. Later.